Hi all, in this video I am explaining how we can do on advanced search in Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a free academic search engine that can be thought of as academic version of Google. Google Scholar is a very powerful search engine for scientific literature that is used by many researchers and students. It is especially useful to find and access scientific articles or to do a quick search on the topic. By default, Google searches in the full text of publications. Advanced searching allows us to limit our search to a specific field such as title, author or a particular journal and date. Suppose if you want to search any article in specific author name or in a title name, we have to depend on the advanced search. Let us join with me for the demonstration. This is my Google Scholar user interface. For reaching this interface, we have to type in the search bar scholar.google.com. Once you type and enter in the keyboard, automatically you can see this user interface. So in this user interface, uh, gently in the Google Scholar, the views it comes to the center. For such any key terms, we have to type here. Suppose I like to find the inclusive classrooms, I have to type here as inclusive classroom or inclusive education. So if I put, uh, if I type the inclusive education, once I enter it, so we can see the, the research article or scientific literature work, it may be stored here. But now I'm focusing how we can do the advanced search. For this, instead of using the normal search mode, what I'm going to do, for reaching the advanced feature, we can go directly the upper left corner, see the upper left corner, you can find out the, the three horizontal lines. That icons we may call as a hamburger icon. So once you click this hamburger icon, we can find out the other new menus like my profile, my library, alerts, metrics, advanced search and settings. So the advanced search should be the second last of the options in the newly opened menu. So this is the advanced search. Once you click the advanced search, automatically there is a pop-up menu. It consists of a lot of features. So this feature I'm going to be highlight one by one. The first one with all of the words. Suppose I like to find the research articles or the scientific research work related to the flipped classroom. So I am typing the, the terms flipped classroom here. Flipped classroom. Flipped classroom. The second bar with the exact phrase. So what is the exact phrase? Suppose you like to find the uh, research article with the same uh, phrases which you are using here. So here I am using the thing called flip classroom flip to class okay so this is a phrase i need to be found flip to class that is called exact phrase so wherever the exact phrase is available it may show in here similarly so i like to go with the same the flip to class and the third search bar with at least one of the word so what it means in the sense this can be a good way to incorporate these synonyms or related ideas into the search so generally the flip to classroom having the different names like flip or inverted so i am giving the lot of terms related to the flip flip inverted inverted so there is a two terms we may use the flipped classroom or inverted classroom therefore i am put that term as a inverted even i put as a invert invert also and without the words what it means that's a fourth bar uh, suppose you want to avoid some of the area based or articles of the flipped classroom suppose i don't like to use the research article uh, blank to the language based or the English base. So, so the what I'm going to do, I'm typing as a language. So it means that the flipped classroom language based article it won't be listed uh, in the search results. So uh, further you have to type as here without the words. There is here one more were my words secure. So this is the option. Suppose selecting anywhere in the article will likely turn up a larger number of results because the search engines can look for your keywords in more places. This is the, the Google Scholar default, how it will doing, that, that option only. Suppose you are going with this second option in the title of the article, may help improve the relevance of your results because if your keyword is in the title, it is likely more important to what the article is about. Similarly, there is an author. Suppose if you want to search this on specific author, you can type the author's name. This was published uh, in so written article publishing means it's a journal name. Suppose we want to find some specific article which is published in some specific journal, we can use the published in. Similarly, there is a the third option that is called written articles dated between. So what is the advantage? Suppose you like to 
uh, find the research article in the year 2010 to 2021. So if you give the spaces like uh, from uh, up to what? So if you give the, the duration, the search result, the entire search result uh, is showing the particular period only. The results come as in only the particular period. So after selecting all, what you have to do, go to the, the search. So once you go with the search, automatically the results may shown into the Google Scholar interface. Now you can see, because these are the terms I am using, no? here you can use some of the uh, Boolean uh, operation terms also, because uh, I am using the term flip as well as the inverter, no? therefore it use the term as R. And uh, the flip to classroom, so the exact phrases which I want to find, therefore it's come as a quotation. So I like to remove the term, uh, the, remove the article without that particular word that is called language. So therefore, it comes in minus language. Even the the boolean operators, we can easy to locate from the uh, the search uh, box itself. And see here, you can find the plenty of research articles related to the flipped classroom as the inverted classroom because I put the the some of the key terms. And uh, you can see this research article year 2016, 2017, 2018 because. Uh, once I search uh, through the advanced search, I put the 2010 to 2020, so 21. Therefore, only that particular uh, 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 the particular uh, time duration based article only it me is stored here. In this manner, we have to go for some kind of constructive way of uh, searching, and uh, the some of the features also I may focus here. Suppose you want to use this article, and apparently you want to cite it, uh, so you want to uh, quote this article as a reference part. What you have to do? You can click the there is a small uh, colon option, the two colon option that is called site option here. Once you click the site options, automatically uh, it opens the there is a new bar uh, and there you can find out the uh, difference reference format like MLA format, AP reference format, Chicago, Harvard, and Vancouver. So, a lot of format is available. So Similarly, if you want to use the same, if you want to use the same reference uh, uh, for this part again article, you can click once again the, the colon uh, that is called site colon. You can find out the that particular art, articles, MLA reference, AP reference, Chicago. So similarly, the bib text in note, rough man, and rough folks. Suppose you like to search the article uh, related to the same research area. So here you can find out the related articles. Suppose once you click the related article, the article which is related to this particular area, this particular research, it may list out here. So if I click here, you can see some of the research article uh, the same look like the same kind of research it may list out here this is no one option then similarly if you want to know how many people have cited this particular article and which are the article they cited for this if you click the cited uh, you can see the nearly 166 article which is cited uh, that particular article which is cited for this particular article so for this we click here you can see the nearly 166 article from here this way we can go for some kind of uh, structural way of searching the uh, research article. I hope this video is might helping to lead further to do a, uh, some specific way of uh, searching the uh, your research articles. So we will meet in the next video. Bye.